Lydia Day Dahl, Fight Connect TV, and I am at Billy O'Sullivan's Kickboxing Gym in Waterford with the man himself, Billy O'Sullivan. Well, finally, long overdue, as I said. It is, it is, and it's great to have you here. Thank you. It's also, much. as I look around me, I see those four people here with me that they use our gym and the trainer of our gym. Yeah. I'm actually very proud to have them here now. Yeah. Very proud to say that they come to our gym and they train and they use the gym, you know, and to have this young lady here. Yeah. Now, former students of mine, like, you know. Yeah. Well, this is the thing, and it's actually the, the beauty of, uh, the, you know, even just down here, because I had messaged Lynn, I knew I was home for the weekend, and I said, listen, any chance to get you out, we do a, uh, an interview. Then I said, I might get Craig out, see what the story is. He said, well, I'll give Reese a call, yeah. then I'm sure you're here, you know what I mean? And you, you were like, this girl's hour, you have to meet her, nine-time champion, you have to interview her. So now we're all here, we're all oh, getting the interviews great, in, and yeah. that's the beauty of it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. looking around that man, it's great to, to see the four of them together, it's fantastic, yeah. you know. Camaraderie. Yeah, it's great, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And they're all, mate, what's important is, they're all nice people. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're no attitudes here, they're nice people. Yeah. And that's what I like. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, we're, we're in your gym, we're looking at the wall here, all your champions. What did you say to me, you have to be a champion to go on the wall? That's, the, that's what we call here the wall of fame. Yeah. So if you win something major, which we still have to get a picture of ourselves over. Yeah. Uh, they go up on the wall. Brilliant. Simple as that. How long is it that you've been in business now, Billy? 40 odd years. Yeah. I love it. It's a long time, isn't it? It is a long time. It's hard. Yeah. I, we've often said any coach will tell you that it's easier to be a fighter yeah. than it is a coach. Because yeah. our work is never done. Yeah. Phone calls, match, making matches, mm -hmm. traveling, making arrangements, making sure the boys and girls are ready, their heads are ready. Yeah. You know, and if that happened then, always blame the coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's the coach's fault. <laughs> Someone has to take the hit, right? Always the coach. When they win, it's down to them. Yeah. When they lose, it's the coach's fault. Yeah. That's the true saying of the fight game, you know. Absolutely. And a testament to you, it's not easy to stay in any game for, for 40 I'm years. 40 odd years, and I love every second of it. Yeah. And I'll never stop. Mm. I'll never stop. What is it about it? Is it the, the, the joy of, you know, getting the kids in and to, to train yeah. them up, to see them compete? Like where, where does well, the satisfaction lie for the you? The satisfaction comes through when, when they go on later in life and they all turn out to be nice people. Yes. They have good attitudes, they're good to other people. They're, out, they're not in trouble, you know. Yeah. And they turn out 90% of our, and I always say our. Yeah. I never say my. This is, yeah. we're a team here. Right, our, of our people, our, my, our, our kids, our my kids, I call them, that they've all turned out fantastic. Mm. Some of them have their own gyms, some of them have turned out fantastic jobs, great careers, mm. and it's all down to coming to our gym. Yes. Because students behave the way the coach behaves. Mm. And uh, we, 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 and we're also here for if they're in trouble or mm. that we're here to talk to. Yes. And we give everybody a second chance, you know. Mm and we don't put, turn anyone away. Yeah. What, what, what do you ask for as a coach when someone walks through the door? What's the one thing that you require out of well, it as, as students? We look at the attitude. Yeah. We look at the attitude, we know the attitude when they walk in mm -hmm. to buy a girl. And if I see a young fella coming in with a bit of an attitude and think he's a tough guy, okay, put him in the ring and one a girl like Zara, just give him a few shots and see how will he react or she react to getting a kick in the jaw or a punch in the face. And if they don't like it, we won't see them again. Mm. Yeah. That's that's the way it is. Leave, we leave the attitude outside. Mm -hmm. Rather be, be do all your fighting in the gym, in the ring, in competition, yeah. not on the street. Absolutely. And help people rather than condemn people. Yeah. And always walk with a smile. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Some very good advice there, Billy. Obviously, when we look at all the champions, that the seasoned champions that are behind us on the wall here, can you see a common theme in all of them? Was there anything in particular that they all had? Was it a work ethic? Was it the... the yeah, the work rate. Yeah. Their attitude. They wanted it. Mm. They wanted it. I mean, we have a man there, Sean O'Neill is his name. Got him from the college, never done anything. Became world champion, Irish champion, Five Nations champion. Mm had him in America fighting, and uh, he's the first kickboxer in Ireland to get a, a, a scholarship in WIT. Wow. He was the first. And we had another girl, Gina McGrath. Gina has her own gym out from more now, raised the bar. Mm -hmm. She was one of our fighters, one of my sisters. I've had most of those, those, those boys like sisters, babies. Yeah. 
since they're babies. Yeah. What's that life for you to see, it's you know, good. people like Craig, Reese, yeah. Lynn, you know what I mean? Like that you've had since kids I and mean, now look. Like Black girl was, was Zara over there. Zara calls me grandfather. Yeah. I'm a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Grandfather Billy Lee, you know. Yeah. But yeah. it's a buzz, you know. Yeah. It, 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 it's a nice way, it's a nice way of, of them to say, to recognise that what I've done for them all down through the years, you know. Yeah. And it'll continue, it will continue because I mean, that man over there, the lemon drop. The lemon drop. Yeah. I Paul talk, Lennon. Yeah. I talk him up the streets in his Duggan. No way. You know, and that he's, uh, he's related to, to Sarah. Oh, no way. Yeah. This is in the family. He's in yeah. the bloodline. Uh, Sarah herself is a fully qualified fitness coach, former Irish sprint champion. Yeah. She's a great coach. Mm. And, uh, like, this is where we develop. Take kids off the streets, mm. put them in there. They don't have to be fighters. Yeah. But they make friends, they see a different way of living, mm. you know, yeah. uh, and, and they turn into nice people. Absolutely. Absolutely. We give them a chance, you know, kids, there are a lot of problems out there mm. with the drugs and the drink and people are getting beaten up and, you know, we, we don't, we don't want that. You won't see any of those four people there doing that. Yeah. They do enough fighting yeah. in competition rather than fighting in the street. Mm. They'll walk away from trouble rather than get involved. Absolutely. And that's yeah. what I want to see. That's what I want to say. When you, when you say that, because a, a lot of people f that don't train or don't have a uh, half and foot don't really understand that mentality. You know, no. it's very hard for them to see, oh, well, they can fight, so they're definitely going to be out there fighting. Yeah. But I, I, what do you think it is? Do you think, Billy, that it's um, the fact that they know what it takes to be a good fighter? They yes. know what, if, you know, the, what is it? Well, I say to, say to all of them, you have to put the work in. Yeah. You're the ones that are in there. The, nobody hit me. I'm outside the ring. Mm. You're the ones who are inside. And, and, and when you're in there, you're on your own. Yeah. Yeah. You're on your own. You, know? you either want it or you don't want it. Mm. And if you don't like getting hit, well, don't do it. Yeah. Train. Work out. But don't step in the ring. Yeah. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not going to get a shot. Yeah. Don't let anybody tell you you might not get knocked out. You will. Mm. But as I say to the lads that come in, don't ever worry about getting knocked out because you won't feel it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll you be over before you, you know it. You won't feel it. It's like getting an injection in hospital and going to sleep. Yeah. You won't feel a thing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But the sign of a good a good fighter get back up again. Yeah. And come back and work hard. Mm. Because when someone they don't there are no losers in this game. Yeah. Right? You learn from a loss. Mm. You don't learn from a win. Mm. You learn from a loss. Yeah. So I say to all my kids, I have children here three years of age. Mm. And, uh, you know, you learn from the loss and you come back and say, I've got to work harder. Yeah. But if you win, I prefer a good loser than a good winner. Yeah. Attitude-wise. Mm. Understand? Yeah. And sometimes they find it hard to understand that. Sandra would understand that. And say, yeah, I, gotta, I didn't do this today. No, I've got to work. We work on this. Yeah. And we go back the next time. And if the guy or girl knock you out again, we'll stay away from them. Yeah. <laughs> stay away from them until they retire. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's just go away. I'll somebody else, you yeah, know. Yeah, and yeah. That, it's, it's, it's the best high in the world. Yeah. Step inside the ring. And have, win or lose or draw, come out of that ring. It's the, you'll be on a high for about six weeks. Yeah. And it's the best high you'll ever get. Don't mind the other stuff. Mm -hmm. This is the best high anyone will ever get. Test yourself, isn't that yes, it? Yes, yes. You're, you're, you're not competing. You're competing against yourself. Yeah. You're not competing against anyone else. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to put the work in. And after 30 seconds in the ring, or a minute in the ring, Sandra and I will know if somebody has done the running, or they haven't done the running, and she'll look well, at me. there's no cheating that running. No. <laughs> Sandra, Sandra will be like, Sandra's what I call old school. Yeah. She hates somebody not trying, or not putting yeah. the work in, or somebody. Now, I'm at getting very calm in my old yeah, age. getting soft, are you? I'm getting very soft. <laughs> so she, she'd often give out to me. I say things and she say no, <laughs> and I say oh okay. <laughs> I changed my mind then. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Sandra is old school because she was she's a very competitive person as well. Yeah. When she was doing the running and that, and uh, she had to install in Zara now as well. Yeah. I mean, you can't get a word out of that young one. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to get her in here you now. Get a word out, but she does all her talking. In the, in the ring, ring. Yeah. she's so humble it's unbelievable yeah. we kind of like those kind don't we the ones who talk in the ring <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well yeah but somebody talk yeah talking in the ring yeah. but sometimes it's, i'm delighted you're here now i'm thank very happy very to have you here because you. it gives the club we don't get much uh, 
PR. Yeah. You know, we don't get really much at all. Yeah. But we don't care. Yeah. At my age now, I don't care. Yeah. We just continue doing what we're yeah. doing, you know. I'm not worried about it at all. Yeah. This gym is open to everybody. I have lads coming here in the morning time. Sometimes I have to check and see who they are. Mm. What's your name? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, can I go out to the gym tomorrow? In. I'll open the door and let you in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's why you've been so successful, Billy, for the last 40 years. I'd rather in here than on the streets. Yeah. Do you recognise that in Waterford City you have um, a, a certain esteem or, or you know, everybody, you're well known, will we say? Everybody knows me. Yeah. I'm known throughout the world as a little fella. Small fella in, in, in Ireland, I won't, but yeah. because I am a messer. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Even if we go to meetings, I'm up in Galway last night, big show, and I means I went in, all the last, there's Billy, there's Billy, and something, the National Anthem was playing last night, yeah. and they said, Stand up, Billy. I said, I am standing up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> what I try to do is get people to laugh at themselves. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. takes away any yeah. personal. Uh, comments someone might make you get the muppets out there because you're a small person they think you're, you're, you're different we're no different than anybody else you just have shorter legs that's all <laughs> and there's not a bloody thing in the world I can do about it you know what I mean I can't make him I can't make him any longer like you know I mean I'd love to be taller I'd love to be solid you know but this is who I am and I'll never change Absolutely. and we give a lot here we give a lot to Waterford City we give a lot to the country and like I said, we have lads from Brook House coming up here. We don't charge them. Mm -hmm. It's mental health problems. Yeah. And they come in here every Tuesday morning, and they're great. Mm -hmm. I have them laughing, I have them talking, do a little bit of exercise, have all the people do circuit training, 65, 70 years of age. And it's, they said to me, it's the best. They look forward to Tuesday and Saturday mornings every week. They can't wait for it to come. And that's my payback. Can't ask for better than that, that's can you? That's my payback. I love that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I have, we talk about the 60s, we talk about the music, you know, the 60s. Yes. And we have a great old chat with them. Yeah. But they're going out of here with their minds right. Yeah. It's, all about the it's all about the mind. Yeah. If that's not right, I tell them to come and talk to me. Mm -hmm. Talking is so important, as you know. Yeah. Talk to me. I don't care. Sometimes I can't hear because I'm deaf, the battery go. <laughs> but I said, <laughs> I said, I tell them, talk to me. Yeah. So I'm taking on half of your problem. Oh, yeah. So you, I'm going home with your problem, yeah. you know, and you're going home happy. Yeah. And I have your problem, I mean, mine now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're transferring it to me, yeah. like, you know. Yeah. But I don't care, I don't yeah. care. I love the sport. I love the people in it. And every coach and every club in Waterford, I'm talking about Waterford, every club in Waterford, I respect. Yeah. Every coach in Waterford. Now, sometimes we might get on with some guys, but I don't care. Yeah. I say hello and I shake the hand and I wish them well. I don't really care. Not my age now. I don't care. Yeah. I just want to see them being a success, you know. Absolutely. And I smile at the at the the big fight night coming up, and with I'll have a big smile on my face because yeah. I've been part of their journey. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And they won't forget that. No, no, they don't. And that's why, like, I give them their own keys to come in. Yeah. I don't have to be here. They get their own keys to go out and train. Mm. I, I, no, that's the buzz. Yeah. And I see them getting success then. Yeah, my babies. Yeah, they start with me. They well, start with me. You know, well, I'm listen. Proud of them, you know. Absolutely, Billy. Uh, an honour, an absolute honour to have you on. Thank you very much. I'm delighted you're here. At long last, I'm delighted you're here. Yeah, it took a while, but now, I told you I'd come. Now I know who you are because yeah. your brother I trained for years as yes, well. You did, yeah. And he was a good fighter. He yeah. had to make it a good fighter as well. Yeah. And I hung around with your dad. No way, did you really? Yeah, yeah we played football. No way. Because he was in Conker's place. Yeah, that's I right. Yeah, yeah, that's my nanny and granddad's. I was yeah. up in the yellow road. So your only it's your neighbors. Granddad, is it? My nanny and granddad's in Congress Place. Oh, yeah, yes. my nanny's dead now, but yeah, yes. my granddad is still here. Joker. Yeah. Joker. Yeah, Joker. yeah. Joker. Yeah. Joker. I, yeah. We, we hung around together yeah. and we played football. Yeah. He was a handy player as well. Yeah. Oh, don't say that now. The ego will be. Oh, he slow. was. He was. He was, a, <laughs> he was a handy footballer. He was a character as well. Yeah. Yeah. He still is, Billy. He still yeah, is. All, all those people. <laughs> and how did and funny it turned out that you, uh, your daughter Sharon, yes. her her your son-in-law is. We were all best friends for years, and I had no idea. Well, my you daughter told me this, and she, I said, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. I went and got her out ages ago. I said, yeah, absolutely. Sharon now, Sharon now. Yeah, yeah. I go away, you know. Yeah.
Gray boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, New Year's Eve, she was saying to me, am I, am I, I was, she's like, how are you getting on with Fight Connect TV? I said, yeah, grand. She said, you're real busy. You're all over the place. I said, no, Sharon, I keep them going. And then she goes, uh, me and my dad does a little bit of kickboxing. I was like, who's your dad? She goes, uh, Billy O'Sullivan. I was like, ah, here. Stop, yeah. Ah, here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, small world, small it's world. Here small we are, world. full circle. But look, it's great. I'm delighted you're here. I'm delighted the lads. They give the gym a little bit of, uh, yeah. a little bit of PR, which we need. Yeah. Because we don't get much Well, listen, anymore. I'll do my best from here on forward. Anything I can do for you to help promote, I, I will. And uh, lady. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. And thanks very much for coming no this morning. Thank thanks. you very much. Thanks. Billy O'Sullivan for Fight Connect TV.